All right, hello and welcome to another video in this 3ds Max uh, 2014 basic tutorial series. Um, so now we're just going to learn how to draw a line and convert it into a 3D shape, draw a shape, whatever shape you want, and make it into an actual object. And maybe cover a little bit about how to turn text into 3D as well for logos and animations. Okay, so... Your default, uh, you're going to start out with just your little uh, geometry tab under your create tab. Change that to the shapes tab right here, the one next to it. And click on line. Now, in order to draw easily, we're going to change the viewport to the orthographic um, top view. Okay, so we now have a top down view, which will make us make it easier to draw. So we're going to click on line and go down to the drag type. Um, and change it to smooth because drag is essentially when you drag on a point that you just drew when you click down for a point um, it will let you smooth if you have it set to that otherwise it'll just draw a normal corner which is your default but now change it to smooth and that way you can smooth out a corner when you hold down your mouse so just normally clicking not dragging you could just get your normal jagged corners but if you want to drag hold down and drag you get this you can get a nice curve. And so I'll do that for two. All right. Close spine. If you get close enough to your original point, you can close the spline. And now we're going to go back to, click on the modifier tab, go back to the perspective. And <laughs> now we can see what I actually drew. Um, let's just move it over to the center and shrink it. Hopefully this didn't happen to you. All right, now that that is done, we want to turn it into an actual polygon, which is easily done by going to the Edit Poly modifier. And that'll turn it into like a little plane, be a little cutout of whatever you drew. And then from there, you can go down to, you can go down to your polygon button, click on your face, and then you can extrude it out into a 3D shape by hovering over it, like any other extrusion. And now you have the beginnings of your 3D shape, which is cool, because you just made it from just drawing it a second ago. So now, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with text. Very simple. With your splines me spline menu open still, go to text. You can adjust your size and font right here. And you know, the default is just max text. Um, so you can just delete the max text and just type in whatever you want. Uh, I almost was going to type straightforward tutorials, but I hate when people do pitches like that. So I'm just going to say 3D text. All right, cool. Now size, I'm going to change it to six feet. Kerning is how far away your letters are. Important to know in the design world. That's cool. Okay, so let's just leave that how it is and go about the same process we just went with our special shape. All right, editable poly. Now you've got that 2D thing going on. And we can just go down the polygons, select all the polygons, extrude up. Now we've got some 3D text. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Rotate it. Bam. Right in there. All right, whatever logo you want, you can do. Okay, thank you for watching. That is the basic 2D drawing to 3D. And you can close off those edges. Learn how to do that by watching my 3D modeling videos. All right, thank you very much for watching.